All right, give this one a shot. All right. Now, this is something I see often and have seen today already, right? And it's okay. Uh, just keep in mind, we, we got to get the absolute value by, by itself first, all right? So we can't have this four times that stuff. So our first instinct would be to distribute that four, but we shouldn't, we shouldn't do that, all right? So we'll divide both sides by four first, and that gives us the absolute value of 5x minus 2 over 6 equals... That's a 7 right there. So now we have the absolute value on its own side of x, all by itself, okay? And that's what we wanted. So now we'll split this up into two separate equations. We got 5x minus 2 over 6 equals the positive equals positive 7. And the other equation, 5x minus 2 over 6 equals a negative 7. All right. So I have denominators here, so you could find common denominators. I would just say multiply both sides by 6, canceling out that 6 right there, okay? Uh, so now I got a 5x minus 2 equals 42. And to solve this equation, I would add 2 to both sides. So I got 5x equals 44. And now divide both sides with more space, by 5, and x equals 44 fifths. There's one solution. As it turns out, uh, for that purple equation, it's going to be the same thing. I'm still going to have to multiply both sides by 6 to cancel those out. In fact, you'll find that the steps for these are pretty much the same, but they're going to give us very different answers. So I got a 5x minus 2 equals negative 42 and then we'll again just like we did on the last one we're going to add 2 to both sides so I got 5x equals negative 40 and then dividing both sides by 5 tells us that x is negative 8 alright so we're going to check this one and the x was multiplied by the 5, so I'm just going to replace x with the value we found. And we're going to have to do this twice to check, all right? So if I look at this, I can cancel out those 5 just with, I don't know, cross multiplication or simplification. Yeah, that sounds better. So I've got 4 times the absolute value now is minus 2 and 6, and I've got a 44 there. This should equal 28, and that's, that's the big question here, so we kind of put a question mark there. Are they equal? If they are equal, then we know our answer is good. So we got 4 times the absolute value. 44 minus 2 is 42, and we'll divide that by 6. Does this equal 28? And I should have given myself more space. I just wasn't sure how that 4 factored in. Like, did you distribute? Oh, no. Yeah, so the absolute values are parentheses, so we have to treat that, well, like parentheses, so we would solve it first. Okay. And that's what I'm doing here, so 42, that's a good, I'm glad you brought that up. 42 divided by 6 is 7, and that equals 28, and the absolute value of 7 is, well, 7. So I've got 4 times 7, does it equal 28? Yes, it does, this one checks off. Yeah, so starting from the inside out, I like how you phrase that. Um, yeah, because of the order of operations specifically. Okay. And we can see, right, we got that blue 7. That's what this, that's one, that's what this was. Is We said that that 5x minus 2 over 6 was going to equal a 7, which is what, that's what that is. That's what we solved for in the first place. Well, now that you may be able to see that, but that's all the work.